What's up guys, so I'm in here. Um, so I'm gonna change the fuel filter on the truck. Uh, so once you open the hood, you know, your filter's right here. All right, that big blue can I put some paper towels on it. You're gonna wanna put a, uh, like a drop catch can on the bottom to catch all the fluids that come out of it. Um, in this case, I don't have one. Uh, so I'm using something else and I put some paper towels here to try to catch most of the spill. All right, um, this socket is about a size 24. Um, so, first thing you want to do is after you locate it, you might want to use an extender or just a wrench to loosen it. All right, once you crack it open, you can twist it by hand. You can see that's disgusting. And I will show you, this is the old one. And I'll show you what the new one looks like. Like that. All right, now this is from the last service that we did. Uh, we changed this filter before, this is at like I would say 9,000 miles almost, which is way overdue anyway. Uh, but that's the other one. All right. And the filter is going to pop out from this cap. If you look inside, I don't know if you can see it, but there's tabs. All right. There's tabs there, and the filters just pop right out. Attempt it with one hand. There you go. All right. So, see the tabs? Now that's almost safe so this is the bottom of the top of the filter that goes against the cap it goes in this way that's the hole and as you can see it's disgusting I'm gonna take that and toss it all right then you gotta open up the new one and set it up all right so guys you're gonna get the filter and you will get a an o-ring all right you take off the old o-ring all right it goes there you're gonna put the filter on the ring closest to that. Right. Make sure it pops in. All right, and that's it. Then what I want to tell you guys is, uh, when you take out the filter, look inside here. If it's really dirty, you're gonna want to clean it out. Um, there's a drain, you see that bottom right here, that piece, there's a drain there, right here, you can loosen it up, drain from here, but there's another drain down there, when you take out all the fluid, and then, uh, close it back up, and inside here, um, I don't know what size this is, but you can take this out and unscrew it to the left, alright, um, counterclockwise, you unscrew it, and then when you take it out, there's a strainer inside there, that you can uh, clean that all out, then put it all back together. Just don't over tighten it because you don't want to break it. Um, but I actually did this, um, I would say maybe mid to the end of last year. Uh, took everything out, cleaned it all out real good. All right. Um, if you take this out to clean it, make sure you put something like a rag inside the hole so nothing goes in. All right. Um, then you could put that back. But I'm not going to take this out right now because we've already done it. Um, but this right here, you could just wipe it down a little bit if you want. Um, then. Here is your filter, the new one. All right, so I dirt a little bit. Uh, you're gonna just place it back in here and wiggle it until it pops in place. All right, so now it'll wiggle a little bit, but it's not gonna pop out, you see? All right, um, then take the filter and put it back in nice and slow. Um, you might get some fuel to spill depending um, how full the canister is all right so push it down and then turn it to the left a little bit so that it'll pop in and once it pops in then you you know you're good to go and you won't uh, you won't like slip the threads or cross threads or whatever um, take it tighten it by hand to the right 
until you can't tighten it anymore. And then you're going to put the ratchet on it and do not tighten it too much. Like once you got it on by hand to the point you can't turn anymore, put the ratchet on it and give it like not even a quarter of a turn. Just snug it until it's tight. You don't want to break the cap. The pla uh, caps are plastic. All right, that's by hand. Take your ratchet. Sorry, I'm using my phone to record. Um, and then just give it a little bit of a snug. And that's it. All right, now, um, sometimes the fluid is like pretty much up here. Um, but if it's not, this is your prime. All right, so <clears throat> after you do this filter, uh, once you change the filter up top, um, remember what I told you that inside here, there's like a little screen, like a, it's like that long, it's a black piece with a nut on top. You twist it to the left, take it out. There's a like plastic screener in there. Take it, clean it out. When you're done, you put everything back together on the bottom right here. All right, there's a little black screw piece. All right, let's see if I can get a better view on that. You take this piece here, you twist it to the left, it'll drop down, all right? It's gonna drain out fluid, all right? So you screw it down, it's gonna drop down like this, see? Then you pop it out, all right? It pops out just like this. Then you're gonna take this piece off i already have it loose all right so I'm, you're gonna need a short open and wrench i'm not 100 percent sure what size it is um i don't have any short ones that go past like i think 18 or 19. Uh, definitely bigger than that so i use an open and wrench all right but definitely use a socket because it's plastic and you don't want to strip this all right but that's it right there uh it has numbers on that. I don't know if that's the size or what, but it's definitely bigger than a 19, that's for sure. Now, when you take this bottom out, there's a screener in here. See that? All right. Take the screener out. You pop it out. Now, let me show you. You see all that junk in there? It looks like rust and paint. Like, I see red and like different kind of flakes and stuff in there. All right. Um, see it all up there? Let's see if I can focus on that. Yeah, that's all grime and stuff like that so you're gonna want to clean this out like a brake cleaner or car brake cleaner um, and then this is the inside also of the screen all right now when you bought the filter for here it comes with two o-rings a large one and a small one the small one is for the bottom because you're gonna want to change that bottom gasket that rubber seal you're gonna want to change that all right so the old one take it out put the new one on there after you clean it all up all right, and then just remember to put it back in order. Uh, when you put it back, you're gonna wanna make sure that the screener is not this way, but this way. So it goes in like this. All right, you wanna see that? It goes in this way, all right? Put that in there, pop it back in, and then being that you have it out, take this part and just pop it back in. Anyway. All right, pop it back in like this, All right, and then just tighten it up. And then when you put it on, you put it back and you just twist it to the right. And again, do it, you know, till it's real nice and snug and then give it a little bit extra and then it'll be nice and tight. And then you gotta prime the whole system again, just make sure you're primed up. Um, you're gonna turn it to the left, all right? It'll be a little tight at first, but you just gotta turn it, all right? Once you turn it and you unscrew it, it'll get loose. And then from there, you just take it out and you just push back and forth like that, all right? And what it does is it causes like a suction for the fuel and you're just pumping it up, that's it, all right? And then when you're done, put it in and you gotta hold it and tighten it. And then that's it, all right? Make sure when you tighten it, you just tighten it to the snug and then give it a little bit of a turn more and then that's it. You don't wanna overkill it. These parts are plastic, so that's it.